Good morning, ladies. It's June 3rd, and I didn't bring my Bible down here, but I brought my Jesus Calling book. And, you know, because it's got plenty of scripture in here today, I have already, you know, been into the Word and all that. But um, right now, I just want to sort of emphasize, you know, because this is what we're sharing with the group, right? So I got a funny story. <laughs> I got a silly story. And so... Um, so last night uh, at New Life, they had um, Wednesday night service, and uh, they had somebody, a man by the name of Gary Webb, who's in a healing ministry. He uh, does a healing ministry. And anyway, he came and spoke, and he's going to speak, I think, for the next few Wednesday nights. And so, but it was really good, and it was so good that um, I shared it on the kitchen table group, so you can tune in and listen to it. It was, he's awesome. It was awesome. But anyway, um, but the, uh, what I'm going to title this is God can be a simpleton. <laughs> and so, you know, sometimes we think, you know, uh, we're so religious and all this stuff, and we just want to, you know, find our way to God. And, you know, we just put him in this big, and he is a big God, you know, but, um, but he wants to talk to us on our level because he wants to walk with us he wants to be with us he wants to be our friend too you know and so he yearns you know to do that and so and so anyway so Gary put on the board if you want to watch this fun this thing you can kind of advance it too if you see and anyway so he said these this is how uh we want to talk to God and he gave us little things here and so he said, pick one of these things. And what is things like, what is your heart? Ask God, what is your heart? Thank him for something. Tell him something you like about him. Ask him something he likes about a friend of yours or someone you know. and Or talk to him about something that's really, you know, tough going on in your life. But he had a list of things. So I picked, uh, Lord, what is your heart? And he said, okay, now you just sit and be quiet and meditate on that and, you know, see what the Lord will have you to do. So I did, <laughs> trying to be obedient. And so I looked up, and I'm looking at a globe in my house. It was a little globe. And all I saw was Africa, you know. And I said, oh, Lord, you know, uh, is your heart in Africa? You know, is this, should I go there? And what am I supposed to do about Africa? And then I thought of Israel, and then I thought of the world. And so I'm thinking world peace, and I'm just, you know, I'm just thinking of all these things. And I looked down. And Flash, my little basset, you know, was just a whining, you know. Because a lot of times when I'm sitting in my easy chair down here in the living room, and he wants to get up on my lap. So you know how little kids are, you know, like when you're not paying attention. And so he's just a whining. And I, I looked over him. I said, Flash, go lie down. And then I thought about it, and I realized, um, which is a funny thing, is that Flash, my basset, has a birthmark or, you know, on his side, a marking. You know how dogs have markings. And the marking is in the shape of Africa on one side. And then on his other side, he has the shape of a heart. <laughs> and so here I am thinking, world peace. I got to go on a mission trip to Africa and all this stuff. You know, and the Lord said, no, pay attention to Flash. And I reached out, and he was just, you know, he was wanting to be loved on, you know, and he wanted to just play and all this stuff. And so, isn't that funny? So, you know, when you know, it's like a little baby, you know, why do we talk baby talk? We want to talk on their level. You know, we want to, they're going coo and all this stuff, and we're just trying to, you know, baby talk on their level. God sometimes wants to, you know, bring us down. Sometimes we just get so wrapped up in big stuff, you know. But he, he wants to talk to us on our level. And so listen to that video. Just and ask him these questions. But it says, you know, to just be quiet, you know. And so here in June 3rd, it says, I want to be central in your entire being. When your focus is firmly on me, my peace displaces fears and worries. So, you know, this is, this is a good thing for today, you know. And... We just want to just be quiet, you know, and and just stop. If you want, I had somebody ask me recently, how do you know when your thoughts are of God or are, are they you, you know, or the enemy? And so, um, 
but it's sort of like a marriage. You know, when you first meet somebody, you don't know them very well. You got to get to know somebody and it takes years, you know. And so I didn't grow up in the church. I didn't actually get saved till I was in my 30s. And so, but that was, you know, 40 something years ago, you know, and it's taken me this long. You know, you're never there. You're just never there, right? And so, but I see where I've been and where I am, you know, and I, I'm not where I used to be, but, you know, I'm not where I'm going either, you know. So, but it's just, it, it, it's a constant thing and it's a daily thing and it's a minute by minute. You know, the Lord has shown me even at noontime or even, you know, all day long. I got to stop and think about where, you know, who he is and where he is, you know. So, but he does show up. But we got to listen, you know. And so here's a funny thing, too. And I told you guys this about that 444. It wakes me up at 444. Did it again today, a.m., you know. And so, or he flashes 444, you know, somewhere. Like, I'll see it on a billboard. I'll see it on a, you know, uh, at work, you know, like uh, in, a, in a bank account number or an address or somebody's phone number. It just pops up all the time. But I think God is saying, like, here I am, you know. I, I, I'm always here. I'm right here with you, you know? And so, and even a funny thing happened the other day when I was trying to, uh, I've been trying to witness to this person, you know, and um, that's a non-believer. And so we're standing there talking and he's just talking away and all of a sudden my phone just flashed, you know, it just lit up, you know, and it might even beep, I'm not sure, but it caught both of our attention. I look over and it was 4.44 p.m. <laughs> And, you know, he couldn't help but see that, you know, and he knows where my heart is, you know, he's seen God in my life, he's seen miracles, he's seen me be mirac miraculously healed of congestive heart failure, he's seen me get healed of cancer three times, he's seen this, and so God has shown him this, not because of me, you know, God has, keeps, he keeps popping up, but he, he just made this real, and it is, in other words, like, you know, I, I have said, he's an older person than me, and you know, and so sometimes I have said things to him that really, you know how you just ask stupid questions, or you know, I can be such a, a dummy sometimes, you know, and so he knows I'm not real smart, he knows I'm not a genius, you know, and uh, but anyway, and so, but he sees God in my life, you know, so he's he's got to know that even, that it's not me, you know, because I can't, I couldn't have caused that phone to light up in 444, I couldn't have done it, right? And so no matter what I say to him and what I do, it, it's God that does it. And, and it, so he'll just show up. You just got to look for him and listen for him and ask, you know, and be quiet. And, and it, like he'll, he'll say, what do you want? What is your heart? What do you want from me? He's asked me that, you know, what do you want from me? Sometimes, you know, I'm digging in the Bible and digging in the Bible. I'm reading, 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 you know, and he'll say, stop, you know. Not that reading the Bible is bad. But he'll say, what do you want? You know? And so I constantly, you know, I got to stop and think, you know, well, you know, I want to be kind today. You know, I want to do something good today. I want to do a good job at my work. You know, just, you know, little things. Little things. He's, he's interested in little things in your life. So back to um, June 3rd. And you do... Like I said, you can read your Bible. You need to read your Bible. But this is, I love this new version because it says now, this is from Thessal, 2 Thessalonians 3.16. I love 3.16s in the Bible. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. The Lord be with all of you. Isn't that good? And from Numbers 6.25 to 26, it says the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Now, so, you know, God wants, he wants your life. He wants to love you. You know, he created you for such a time as this. And he knows you better than you know yourself. Isn't that cool? All right, so I'm going to end one more. I have one more thing to say, and that is we have a new member. Her name is Teresa Graham. And let me tell you about Teresa. Not only is she beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But I've known she's been a member of my church for years and years. And and actually, uh, I was a Sunday school teacher for her son years ago. And I think he's in his 20s. I don't know how old he is. Ninth, maybe in his 20s. Uh, maybe about 19. Anyway, she has been, she has, tr this girl's a go-getter. 
She tried to run for, she uh, put her bid in for the school board several times, you know, and um, I'm not sure why God didn't grant that, but she didn't give up. She tried several times, several times. One, she told me one of the times she lost by two votes. Y'all, we need to get, we need to get back up, you know, and I thought about it and I voted for her, but I didn't go out and campaign with her. You know, I didn't step up to the plate to help her out. I remember that. And so, but now we're learning. We're learning, aren't we? We gotta step up. And and even if we're not the ones that are actually running, we need to campaign and step up and be up behind those that are. And so, um, so she's such a blessing. And I thank you that she's a part of our team now and part of our group. And I hope she can make it to some of the meetings, you know, but um, she's a go-getter. I know we can learn from her and uh, she'll bless all of us. So anyway, that's all I got for today. I love you guys, and Jesus loves you so much more. See you later. Bye.